I've asked the question to Spirit, what is it that we need to know today to get through these crazy times that are going on? So let's see what we get. All right, so that's rejuvenate. All right, rejuvenate. Let me look for that one. I mean, it makes sense, right? <laughs> because we can get really kind of drained with everything that's going on. I mean, I have t times where I just have to pull away and not even pay attention to anything because it just weighs so heavy. Because as we're going through this spiritual awakening, so much light is coming to the planet that all the stuff that no longer serves us is coming to the surface for all to see so we can let it go change it release it so that's hard and i know that this card speaks to me very loud and clear to rejuvenate because that's actually what i've been doing the past few days taking a break from everything and just paying attention to myself so let's see exactly what this card wants to say about that and uh, go on from there so it says are you taking too much of are you asking too much of yourself and not leaving time for rejuvenation are you strangling your inner child and judging it as irresponsible or unworthy? Have you been envious of people who seem to be enjoying their life while you slave away? Your divine energy is calling you to re-energize and reinvigorate your spirit with vacation, recreation, and unstructured time. The well is empty, the garden is overplanted, and the bank account is depleted. Time to renew. Simply put, all work and no play makes you a burned out sad soul. <laughs> yes, very true. Uh, your divine invitation value enjoyment like really take time to lift your vibration that's what all it's all about right when we live in a higher vibration it's easier to manifest the things we want when we get so caved in over all the things that are going on which are really outside of us but we feel directly affected from it it, it, it really really tends to make us small and feel heavy right we want to lighten up we want to rejuvenate so it goes on to say um, don't limit pleasure to one week a year but rather to one period every day. Realize that any resistance to stepping back and relaxing is really fear trying to block your spirit. Yeah. Feed your inner self by going outside, letting your body soak up the warmth and radiance of the sun. This life force will right what is wrong and heal what's out of balance. True, because again, you want to lift yourself into a higher vibration. I mean, you know, one day you're crushed, the next day you feel great. There's not much difference between one day to the other, especially when we're addressing what's going on in the world outside of us. So why can't we be in the higher vibe all the time? Because then we send this energy out. Higher vibration is all, you know, you send the energy out that you're vibrating to, right? So if you're in a higher vibe and you're sending that energy out, I mean, for me particularly, I like to just send love, like all the time. I wrap the planet in a big blanket of love. That energy can do something for the world, right? That's all you can really do. Um, okay, so it says, this life force will right what is wrong and heal what is out of balance. The more you give yourself time to rejuvenate, the more success you'll attract. Sometimes doing nothing is the most powerful action you can take. For as you relax, you attract what you are striving for. Yes, especially when you are working really hard to on something that you're wanting to manifest in your life and you're doing all the action steps that need to be done to get it done. We get really bogged down in that energy and it could feel heavy and that takes away that driving force, which is the high vibe, which is this high energy, peace, love, joy, um, that will bring it in. So you need to notice that when, when this goal that you're striving for starts to feel really heavy, well, that's time to rejuvenate. All right. I like that card. Let's move on to the next one. All right, card number two. So I like that first card, Rejuvenate, makes a whole lot of sense when you start getting bogged down by all the craziness in the world. Let's see what this deck has to offer us today. Okay, and we get Cellular Collapse. Okay, I don't know if I showed you that last card. I should have. Okay, so Cellular Collapse. All right, well, could tie in. It uh, makes sense that it would tie in. It says, you have been at war with your body for too long. The hostility has been too much. Now it's time for every cell to heal and be well again. Yeah, rejuvenate, like the first card, on all levels, okay? So accept the changes in your vibration and let go of what's making you sick in your life, what's pulling you down, making you heavy, like looking at all that craziness out there 
and not knowing what you can personally do to, to, to help it. Uh, it makes you feel heavy or, or even just things you're creating in your life, right? You start to get bogged down in it. It just slows the whole thing down. You want to get that vibration up high again so that you so can that you be can your be true self, the creator that you are, you are and go out and manifest, right? So it goes on to say, um, you are worthy and wanting this transformation to happen. So accept it and invite it in now. Yep. Cellular collapse. All right. You got it. Take care of that body of yours, right? Body, mind, spirit, um, the whole the whole works. We need to pay attention to ourselves. We need to put ourselves first. Because when we have that higher vibration, then that's how we create, for not only for ourselves, but for others, right? The vibration we send out, it affects other people. They can either take it or not, but we want to keep sending those higher vibes out. It's like uh, on the plane, you know, the oxygen mask. They want you to put on yourself first in order to help the people around you. It's the same thing. Work on your vibration in order to help not only the people around you, but the whole world. <laughs> All right. Third card for this reading. And what do we need to know to get through these crazy times that are going on in the world? Let's flip the deck. Take that first card. Solitude. Okay. There we go. Solitude. Um, I I just love the way the cards always work. I don't know, I don't know how it happens. Thank you, Spirit. They just always, it sounds like solitude is going to work right along with the rest of them. Okay, so number, what number is that? 13, solitude. Okay, here we go. We got it. And this is telling us, uh, well, there's an affirmation. It says, I am comfortable, I am comfortable in, my, in own my own skin, skin and I detach, and I detach to, replenish to replenish my soul. My soul. All right, so it says meditation is required when you receive the solitude card as a sign. Empty your mind of superfluous thoughts and allow stillness to flow through your whole being, right? It's all about, again, detaching, coming back to who you are, lifting your vibration, feeling your true nature, which is love, right? Which is that high vibe. Uh, this is not an advantageous time to ask questions or push forward in any way. Rather, it's a period of conscious retreat. Yeah, because we can't figure this stuff out. It's 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 very big. And it, of course, it is very energetic. So again, as that light comes in, all this junky stuff comes to the surface. It's lower energies that no longer support us so they can be seen and released in all different forms, right? Whether it's within your own body or whether it's within something in your immediate environment or with what's going on in the world. Okay, so what's called for now is to step back and take your focus off your life and your troubles. You'll be surprised by how things will sort themselves out once you replenish your energy by means of much needed rest and time out. So I would kind of add to that. I think I've said it on the other cards too because it, it, they're pretty much are saying the same thing to me, each one of them. Um, the better you feel and the more you hold that higher vibe, things flow easier in your life. Solutions come in, right? You're, you're open so spirit can send you the answers that you need. And as we do this collectively, more and more of us joining in this higher vibration, well, that energy is what assists in sorting out all that nonsense and chaos. Not nonsense. It's just chaos that's going on in the world around us, right? There are things that we don't know how we could affect it because it's not part of our world. We're not involved in politics or um, the, the health industry or whatever it might be. But as we hold our light bright and as more and more of us start holding that light, that high vibration, well, all the other stuff will work itself out. You just have to trust, trust that God has this. And that all you need to do is feel that love within you and apply that into every aspect of your life. Keeping your vibration high so that those things you are working on manifesting in your life can just kind of fall into place. It's, it's magic. magic. When we're in that higher energy, I talk about this a lot. Being in that just magical nature, allowing for spirit to send you the magic. Because if you don't open to it, how can you receive it? Right? So just... Be in that place. Imagine everything flowing. Imagine things better than you could even imagine. Better than you could even imagine. Hold that energy. Send that energy out there. And then wait for the magic to come in. So I hope you liked that reading. I'd love you to subscribe, like, share. And I'll see you on another video. Bye.